Yeah, Governor Henry McMaster here in South Carolina giving us an update this afternoon. First of all, I'd like to say that, um, we have had, unfortunately, we know we've had four deaths storm-related so far. Two were firefighters in Saluda County and two were individuals in, in Newberry. We believe there'll be more, but they have not been confirmed, so we ask you to keep all of, of those families and friends and in, in your prayers. Uh, this is, uh, Helene is a strong storm, as we know, uh, and we've had strong ones before. They're very difficult to predict, as you know, but our, our team is excellent. We've had a lot of experience in these things, so our all of our assets were positioned in the proper places, and I'd issued the executive order allowing the loosening of various regulations to allow all the counties and state assets and municipal to work together very quickly as we always do. Uh, these storms come in different different varieties. Sometimes it's the water on the coast, sometimes it's the wind on the coast, uh, sometimes it's both, sometimes we have rivers flowing, overflowing, sometimes we've had dams breaking. Uh, we, in Hugo 89, that was a lot worse than we expected. It went all the way to Charlotte, as you remember. In 2015, Joaquin had the flood where the dams broke. Uh, in, in 2018, Florence, of course, was we, we thought that Horry County was going to be cut off by the water there with all that flooding that dissipated in, into the, the marsh, fortunately. But we, we prepared for all of those as we did this one and as we did the next one. And we also have tornadoes popping up. But one thing different about this one was that we knew it was going to hit the up, upstate harder than, than usual, and it, it really did. Fortunately, we were prepared. We had our people positioned there, but we can't stop the, wa the waves, can't stop the rising water, can't stop the rivers, and certainly can't stop the trees from being uprooted when they've had days and days of rain before the storm got here. So we, um, we've got a lot of work to do. And because we have so many power outages, this time with all of the, with the trees being uprooted and falling, we have probably more power outages than, than we've had to, Maybe, maybe ever, we don't know, but we've had a lot of them before, and they always take a lot of time to repair. And this, this one is going to be no exception. So we ask everybody to have patience. It takes time. We have cellular towers that are out this time as well. So, but we do have the emergency signals are working. But uh, we'll be getting to those all of those assets as, as quickly as possible. But the crews are working around the clock to restore power. Again, it's going to take time, and we ask people.